All right, this is our third in a series of SIP Happen sessions. Today we're going to switch it up a little bit. We actually received a shipment from Lorenzi Estate Wineries. Uh, they have a winery over in Temecula, California that we actually became a member of. So today we're going to open this box that we received from Lorenzi Estate Winery. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Using the trusty cobalt razor, I'm gonna open this box up. What we have here inside the box is the Petite Syrah. 2018. Can you see that? And the 2018 Bold Move. And that's going to be a red blend. Yes. What it says here for the Petite Syrah is that it has teeth grabbing plum tannins that move in tandem with licorice, dried violets, ripe blackberries, and slate. A red with an immense profile. Nice. Statuesque with brisk dryness. Ooh. Aged for 30 months in. 100% French oak and 14 months in bottle for release. All right, the 2018 Bold Move says this is a luscious five part blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Sangiovese, Grenache, Cabernet Franc, and Syrah. It's a vibrant power blend that's perfect on its own or with a serious dinner. Make your bold move now. All right, Chris, which one do you want to open? I think we should make a bold move. Yes. We're gonna try the bold move. All right, here it is, the bold move. All right, like in previous series, what we'll do here is open the bottle, pour it in the decanter, pour it into our glasses, and then take some sips. All right, while he's pouring in the decanter and the glasses, I'm going to do a quick snapshot of the label on the Vivino app. We can get some tasting notes and other information. Yep, pulled up right away. It's awesome. Here we go. Nice. That was a bold move I did. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, just a taste here. Give myself a taste. Wow, it's a really good aroma. Now we have been to this winery. We actually, uh, it's the winery is in Temecula, California. Uh, we went there. When did we go there? May of this year. May of this year. And uh, that's why we became um, members at the winery while we were there, because the wine there was so good. And it helps that our good friends Mike and Lori uh, Cosgrove are also members there, so they recommended the winery. We're glad they did. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Definitely bold. <laughs> wow. Bold and full bodied for sure. Yeah. It's good though. The taste hits you. You get a taste on the front of, of the tongue and on the back of the tongue. Mm hmm. It's a pretty unique how bold this is. This is, this is bold even for me. <laughs> so on the Vivino app, I pulled it up and mentions the region Temecula Valley mentions that it's a California red blend. Uh, talks about the various grapes that are in there, the Shiraz, Cab Sauve, Cab Franc, Grenache, Merlot, Zinfandel, and Petit Verdot. Uh, characteristics says it's definitely fully on the bold side, as you can see. Smooth, uh, so it's on the tannic side. It's definitely on the far right dry side, and then it's more on the acidic versus soft side. Some of the tasting notes that people talk about are pepper and licorice, blackberry, black cherry, and oak. 
And then finally the food pairing it mentions is veal, poultry, beef, and lamb. So I love this app. It really gives you a lot of different um, information about what to do with the wine, what you would expect to taste when you take a sip. And down at the very bottom, it actually gives you similar wines to choose from. If you don't have access to getting this wine, it actually gives you different vintages down at the bottom. And ironically, one of our favorite wineries, Dow, is on here, Bodyguard 2019. So don't forget to download this app. It's a free app. Helps you with looking into various wines. I'm definitely getting the pepper in the taste. And I, I, usually I only get pepper. I don't get it from a red blend. It's usually from the Cab Franc, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. It's a definitely a bold forward glass of wine. It's really, it's really good. But I like that it's not just bold on the front, it's actually bold on the back end as well. Yeah, the bold on the back end is, is a kick in the mouth at first. You gotta get <laughs> used to it. Mm -hmm. I can definitely see you slow sipping this with a good steak or something um, like this at a, like they said, a serious dinner. <laughs> definitely yeah. want to slow sip on this, kind of get used to the acidic and, and tannic uh, part of the wine for sure. But the pepper's nice on it. It's not overly peppery, it's just a nice pepper touch. So I pulled up their website just to kind of give you a little more information, especially about the club membership. It's one of the things that sold us on the winery, not just the wine itself, but the club membership. Living in Virginia, we weren't sure if we should join the wine club, being that it's in California. But what one thing we did like is there's four different types of club memberships you can join with. And we chose one particular club where we get two wines every other month. So um, you get 12 bottles total throughout the year. And one of the other things is, you know, typically when you join a wine club, you, you join because of the other benefits, say, you know, um, pick up party days, um, dinner events and things like that you can do in person. Well, one of the great things was even though we live in Virginia and we get the wine shipped to us, we have family that lives in Temecula and so they're able to actually go and get two complimentary tastings per month on our behalf, if you will. So they get to go enjoy some of the other perks that we don't since we're out here on the other side of the coast the one club that we chose so there's four clubs the artisan club the lion's den the vintage club and the catalyst group we chose the lion's den which is the 12 bottles per year two bottles every other month the two complimentary tastings per month invitations to winemaker events and 20 percent off all wine purchases which is great because we get an email every other month letting us know what the allocation is going to be they also put a list in there of the current wines because they're a limited production winery they add a list of the wines that are currently available and you can actually add to your allotment that you're having shipped for no extra shipping charge, which is also a great perk. Thanks, Chris. So if you ever get to San Diego, please run up to Temecula. It's like an hour, hour and a half, maybe less than that. Mm -hmm. uh, north of San Diego, there are some amazing wineries up there. What do you think, Chris? Oh, I completely agree. And I think I remember reading somewhere where they're actually calling um, Temecula, the third um, biggest wine spot in the state of California, just below Napa and Sonoma. So one thing we were going to mention is with nearly 50 wineries in Temecula, you may want to stay overnight a day or two, maybe make a, a long weekend of it to check out that large number of wineries. Uh, one thing we did was we stayed in the Carter Estate Vineyard, which was wonderful. They had a bunch of bungalows out there. I guess I'll refer to them as bungalows. Um, we were able to rent. Uh, we were actually just across from the pool and they had a little bar area where you could go get a glass of wine, sit at the pool area and just stare out at the vineyards and the mountain. Uh, range in the background, which is gorgeous. Um, there are sister um, to South Coast Winery, which also has uh, places to stay as well. So just some recommendations. Uh, good winery is a great place to stay. That way you can kind of visit at least a dozen or so of the wineries, depending on which ones you like. I would also suggest going to the websites because you can kind of see what type of wines they have there in the atmosphere as well. Right. If you're a wine lover, it's a great little place to be. It really is. And again, not that long. It's kind of to me it's about halfway between san diego and los angeles so you could either fly into san diego or fly into la and uh, make your way down to temecula or up to temecula oh the hot air balloons the hot air balloons were amazing while we were there um, almost every morning you'd wake up go outside and you'd see the hot air balloons uh, rising up into the air with people kind of floating along uh, over the vineyards and it was just amazing i couldn't quite get the nerve up to go a little afraid of heights uh, but I kind of regret it now. I wish I had. I wish I would have gotten the nerve up because it looked amazing.
All right, I, I took some videos and I'll put them in a card up here. You guys can check them out if you want. So every morning as you're sipping coffee for breakfast, uh, they have hot air balloons floating over your, the resort. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really cool to sit there and watch it, be able to watch it right out your window or just walk outside, sit down at a table, sip on some coffee while you're watching the hot air balloons float around. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. And one other thing we did do while we were up there was we, we rented a limousine, which was wonderful. So the six of us went around to, I think, three or four different uh, wineries, which was great. So we didn't have to worry about driving. They dropped us right back off at the resort, which was great. So it was nice um, to just kind of tour around, just kick back and relax and see the scenery as well. Just kind of see the area, the valley itself. Um, if you do happen to go to Lorenzi, make sure you ask for Les. Remember his name because he said Les is more. Uh, so if you happen to be out at Lorenzi, make sure you ask for Les. He does a great wine tasting. It's true. It's true. We had a great time. Now we live vicariously through drinking the wine and pretending we're back there. <laughs> it's funny, the more I sip on it, the more I'm not just tasting the pepper. I'm kind of getting the aroma of pepper a little bit, too. Mm. It's still bold after three or four sips. It's still nice and bold. Um, but not as much of that initial bold punch, if you will, but still very, very delicious and very bold and full-bodied. It's really good wine. All right, so that was our third in a series so far of Sip Happens sessions. Um, if you like these videos, please go ahead and click like, and uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. We really, really appreciate you guys um, subscribing and liking our videos. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Um, and just, uh, we're gonna keep doing this. this. This is a lot of fun. You know, bolder the better for me uh, on these reds. Um, next week, we'll probably do uh, Virginia wine. Um, maybe not, when you never really know, to be honest with you, but we've been trying to go back and forth between mm -hmm. California and Virginia. And uh, hope you guys have a great time. Thanks. Cheers. Goodbye. <laughs> Got all excited, just heard wine. <laughs> all right, so this is the third in the series of Sip Happens mm -hmm. um, sessions. Session three of Sip Happens. You ready? <laughs> all right, this is part three. I said part three. <laughs> Session three of Sip Happens. All right, this is our third series of Sip Happens sessions. This time we're gonna switch it up a bit. We actually received our shipment from Lorenzi. Uh, State Winery and Vineyard and Winery. And for the 2018 Bold Move, it says a luscious five-part blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Sangiovese, Grenache, Cabernet, Cabernet Franc, and Syrah. It's a vibrant power blend that's perfect on its own or with a serious, serious, serious dinner. <laughs> ah. Gotta be serious All about right. that dinner. Yes. All right, so the 2018 Bold Move says it's a luscious five port part. <laughs> I definitely wanna try the big bold. Nope, that's not it. I definitely. <laughs> <Bold move. laughs> Pardon us while we drink. <clears throat> Ooh, more of that pepper. To check out that large number of wineries, I can't talk. <laughs> Who's texting? I don't know. Verizon, your balance of blah 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 is due.